Okay, uh, harvesting cells part two. The centrifuge has finished um, finished centrifugation, uh, and I've attached uh, a, a vacuum uh, to this apparatus uh, that has a, a trap to collect the, the, the cells. So, so as we can safely remove the media, well, they're not collecting the cells. I should I misspoke. We're collecting the media that the cells grew in. And the reason why we want to get rid of this media is because uh, it's, uh, it, it contains an enzyme that will break down our antibiotics that are on our, our indicator plates and our counting plates. So to protect the integrity of those plates, we, we go through this step of removing the media for culture and replacing it with a, a solution of 0.85% sodium chloride. So I'll be doing that for each each of the each of the harvested cells. Notice the there's a pellet at the bottom of the tubes. That's where the cells are, and the media is now clear of cells. It's more more translucent than it was before. Okay taking my P1000 tip and, and guiding it uh, down the side of the tube away from the, uh, the pellet. And I know the pellet's on the, that side with the hinge. And in the end, I have a, 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 the cell's pellet remains. That's the most important thing, to not suck up the, the cells. But the, the liquid that they grew in, the media, is now, is now, has, been, now has been removed. And it may help uh, to have a, a little bit of light on the situation. So turn that on. I'm trying to keep them in order as I go. just rest the, the tip there for the next set of five. So for these five, I now need to replace, uh, bring the volume back up to the original one milliliter. And I'll be doing that with the 0.85% sodium chloride solution. It's an isotonic solution. So the cells will be comfortable, but they will not grow in the solution because there are no nutrients. So pipetting one milliliter. And uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, make sure I don't touch the tubes as I deliver this volume. That way I can confidently go back with the same tip. Saves time if you don't have to change tips. If you do touch the tubes or you feel uncomfortable uh, using the same tip, just go ahead and change the tips. But this is a, a, a time saver if I don't have to change, change, the, change the tips. Good. Now, the cells uh, in this pellet, they're kind of clumped at the bottom of the tubes. So to get them to come off of the bottoms of the tubes, it's helpful to have a, a rack that you can, uh, this is, I call this the guitar strumming method of resuspending cells. You see the, the pellet, uh, it's kind of firm at the bottom of the tubes. If you just rub the bottom of the Eppendorf tube. It tends to uh, loosen up the pellets. Uh, don't don't hold the tube too tightly. If you play the guitar, this will be easier than it is for me. And then, uh, together with the combination of vortexing and guitar strumming, you get a a, a suspension of cells that's not clump, clump free. No pellet no pellet remains. That's that's your goal. You can go back and forth. Go on to the next 
next to it. There, all done. My cells have been resuspended.